Most of today I've been spending my time on my computer just looking at some old photos and also screenshots and stuff. And I found this like Twitter conversation. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot this happened on September 28th, 2016. I'm going to show you guys the tweet right now. This is back when my Twitter handle was SwiftUAV, but FaZe Rug actually made a tweet and it said, I hate when I do a lot of good and then if one bad thing happens, people will forget all the good I've done and focus only on the negative. And then I responded, I was like, you could do 99 things in a row completely awesome, but the 100th time you do something and may make a mistake is when others notice. And he's like, it couldn't have said it any better. And I'm like, holy crap. At that time, I was like, whoa, FaZe Rug noticed, like, my tweet? Like, out of thousands of people that, like, saw his tweet and responded to him, like, he picked me out of everybody. And I don't know, like, I just saw it and I was like, holy crap, this is really cool to look back on like to see like where i was then in 2016 to where i'm now and to also know where he was in 2016 to where he is now it's just it's really cool and crazy and to also think my name used to be swift uav but with all that being said good morning saxon family i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video welcome back to the daily vlog if you're not yet subscribed and part of the family do me a favor hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and never miss out any videos i post here on the channel because we are a daily vlogging channel i think this is like daily vlog number 46 which is crazy to think we're 46 days in so far on to, into the daily vlogs i was about to say something else but whoop Anyways, daily vlog number 50 is coming up. I want to kind of do something crazy. I want to do like, you know, I want to go all out. I want daily vlog number 50 to be big. So if you guys have any ideas, like, let me know down below in the comment section. What should I do for daily vlog? Like, I, I need to do something big. Let me know down below in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get right into the rest of today's vlog. <laughs> For a quick second, I think I may have got you there by making you think I was going to end the vlog, but no, 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 no. The vlog's go just starting, so hopefully I did get you, but, ugh, my brother, Owen, clean, clean up your room, man, like, you look over here and Nicole's room's basically clean, but, like, come here, it's like, meow, 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 what the hell is going on in your room, Owen? Is that, like, supposed to be the new map for Fortnite, like, it just... Boom, and crash and landed in your bedroom. Oh, well. <laughs> you get it? Oh, well, and his name's Owen. Okay, all right. Jeff, that was just a horrible joke. Oh, Daria, are you outside at all? No, let me, let me actually check out here, see if her car is home. Oh, the screen is really white up. Now you guys can see, and I see no vehicles except for mine and everybody else that has been away, which means I am currently the only person home right now. And this absolutely kind of sucks because I hate being home alone. Bo, what are we going to do? We're <laughs> Guys, I, I wanted to pull a prank today on my sister, but she's no longer outside by the pool. Bo, you're supposed to give me the heads up that Daria left. And how come you haven't eaten your food all day? I literally gave that to you. Let's see what time it is. Up, uh, watch is not gonna work. Up, uh, there we go. It is currently 4:12, Bo. I fed you three hours ago, and you've yet to still eat. Okay, thanks. But no, no, I am so mad that I've currently missed a golden opportunity to prank my sister. Literally, like every day this week, she's been outside in that chair. Just relaxing and all that, like her eyes closed, got like her uh, her shades on, and what I wanted to do was go up over on this roof, which I've jumped off of before. Let's do a little flashback. <laughs> okay, welcome back from the flashback, and uh, that was gonna go up on this little roof here and get like a bucket of water, take it, and then splash my sister with it, but. Unfortunately, she's not outside right now, and unfortunately, I cannot do that. In other news, my parents come home in a few days, and since they've been away, I've cut the whole entire front and backyard twice. Like, I cut it Saturday, and then grew back quick, so I had to cut it again Monday because of how high the grass is literally getting. And take a look at this, right? They come home in, like, literally two days, and the grass is higher back up than it was. Like, I, like, I don't know why. I guess it's, the like old me I, I guess you can say because i used to work in the government and i'd cut grass in like parks and stuff i guess i like keeping the grass nice and short nice and clean and presentable 
I, I guess I'm kind of OCD when it comes to, to being not a homeowner. But one day I will be, and it's kind of scary to think that. That actually means we're all just getting old. Okie dokie, anything good to eat? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, nope. Two actually. Let's see. Yep, still too early to be <laughs> trying to have some fun. I mean, wait. I got Jack. I got Ginger. <gasps> I got Jack and I have Ginger. And I'm a Ginger and I can have Jack and Ginger tonight, which can make everything ten times better. Winning! Haha! <laughs> I feel like this vlog is off to a cringy start today. Wow, this refrigerator light makes me look whiter than normal. But what I'm about to do right now is make a Instagram story for my Instagram. You guys can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, both at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. But I, it kind of like got this like funny like little skit idea in my head. Like, hey, there's ginger ale, there's Jack. Like after I filmed that little vlog uh, bit, I was like. I need to do an Instagram story. So here we go. You guys get to take a look at me filming an Instagram story. You guys may have seen it already. If not, go to my Instagram. But here we go. What is going on Instagram? Oh, shoot. I literally, I, I had the wrong mode. So let me try it again. Hey, what is going on Instagram? Jeff here. So I went in my fridge. Oh, no, guys. See, I'm already messing up trying to film an Instagram bit. It's like me trying to vlog sometimes. I mean, I had to take this thing off right now so I can leave the camera in the fridge. But all right, attempt number two, three. I don't, I've already lost track. Okay, so that was pretty quick, cringy uh, at its finest, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep the social medias posting. Uh, one thing I, I've learned a lot, I don't know if you guys know who Gary Vaynerchuk is. I follow him like a whole, a whole lot. Uh, I'm trying. I was trying to think the correct word to say there. But I follow Gary V a lot over on his social medias. He's like this big influencer. He grew his parents' wine company from making like three million dollars a year to over sixty-five million dollars a year, which is just an insane amount of money. He wants to buy the New York Jets and all this cool stuff, which it'd be nice for me if I want like to one day buy the New Jersey Devils. But I was uh, I was following one of his things, and it makes sense to always just post all the time. What the. I think a bomb is about to go off in my house. Oh, crap! I'm fine. The fridge just exploded. I don't know why A1 is still there anyway. Wow, my hair looks a lot better than it just did after my fridge exploded there. I'm not gonna lie. Literally, I never... Hey. Who's ever using that saw, can you stop it? But that is not the point of what I'm about to say. So, if you guys know, the other day I posted a video uh, where I apologize to not just you guys, but to Jake Duffner's fans and also Jake Duffner himself. I want to call him, I don't know if he's seen the video at all that I posted here on my channel. I want to call him and just, I want to kind of squash the beef, you know. I want to admit the mistakes I've made and I've, even though I've done it on video, um, I want him to come over. I, I want him to talk, so... I'm not probably gonna even vlog it. I haven't decided yet. I mean, I know that's always been a big problem But like if you're at my house if like you want to come here or we go somewhere to meet or do whatever I don't know. I just feel like I need to call him so I'm trying to get a thumbnail at the same time You know it works out pretty good uh, Please record ah, weird. We didn't leak his number so that's a plus Yo Jake, it's uh, me Jeff I know I screwed up big time, and um, I don't know if you saw like the video I posted on my channel the other day, but I, I, I did a public apology to you, your fans, and also my fans, and uh, I was pretty genuine and sincere because I meant everything, and I just want to know if like you want to like chat sometime, I mean, like we catch up, you know, put all the bullshit to the side. I just want to talk to you in person, man. Um, just give me a call back when you can, whether it's today, tomorrow, uh, it doesn't matter. Just shoot me a call. We can maybe meet up at my house, your house, or like, I don't know, the Chegg, get some wings. But, just, uh, give me a call when you get a chance, man. I appreciate it, and, uh, once again, I'm sorry. I know what some people are probably gonna say is like, Jeff, we just leave Jake alone. And uh, I, I know on the last video, the apology video, some people were like, hey, Jeff's taking the right steps in the right direction, like he said he would, to try to make it all right. And I mean, if you guys saw that video, I appreciate you guys for sticking around watching my channel. 
I appreciate your guys' support, but I, I want to apologize to him. I, I kind of, I just want to talk face to face, you know. I mean, I'm probably gonna vlog, probably not. I'm not sure. I just, I just want things to be right, you know. I just. I don't know. I, I, I'll admit, I, I screwed up. I've made mistakes. And let my mistakes be a lesson to you guys. Like, when you screw up in life, there's going to be consequences no matter what. I mean, sometimes your consequences could just lead to a lot of trouble. You can end up in jail. You can end up making bad life decisions that send you down a horrible rabbit hole making bad life decisions. I just... Every video I upload, I want to give you guys like a positive message, and uh, that the past few weeks, I haven't done that. I have not been a positive influence on any of you guys, and for that, I am sorry. And I, I've already apologized to Jake here on video, but once again, Jake, I'm sorry. Hopefully, like, if you see this video or the other video, or you even get my phone call and decide to return it, just, uh, I want you to know I'm sorry, man. I messed up. I made mistakes. And two wrongs don't make a right. So hopefully we can put everything behind us and we can just move forward here with life. But on that note, I want to go check up on my dog. So because my parents have been away, I don't trust any of them like at all in the house. Because, uh, yeah, they keep knocking over the trash can, making a mess. And so, you know what? I have to put them out in the garage with the fan on. Also, there there is like an AC thing in the garage. The dog, or it's like... About maybe I want to say 70 like what it is in the house and they got their bowl of water and they have access to outside So I just want to check up on them. You know, I haven't checked on them in like two hours, but hi puppies oh, That's not really a bad sign. That was not there before. What are you guys doing? Huh? Sushi being good? Oh Boy You guys have made a mess Wait a minute Zeus Rex Willow which one of you guys literally pooped on you guys have the door wide open over there How? Now I gotta literally clean up your, your dog poop in the house. Guys, guys, can you guys, can you guys stop playing for a second and like just, okay. Um, yeah, it looks like I have dog poop to clean up inside because one of them does not know how to go out a door to literally poop. I, I just, you guys have been bad all week, literally. I, I, as much as I love my dogs, I also feel like I have the worst dogs. Besides Rex and Bo. Zeus, I love you, you just been, oh man, this is... This has actually been a nightmare from hell this week. There's literally stuff everywhere on the floor and there's poop in the... Okay, that flipped up easily. Uh, this is so gross. You guys have been a bad, Zeus. Oh, come on. Even that stuff, guys? Like, you know what? I'm gonna... Instead of throwing it over there, because I do have to do dog poop now. I'm just gonna throw it right in that trash. And whichever one of you guys pooped inside are bad, okay? I'm going to say it was probably you, Willow, because you did the same thing last night at the top of the stairs. So I know I literally joked in yesterday's vlog, like, there's no food to actually eat in this house. And that all I've been eating is Hot Pockets. Well, besides the dinner dairy I made last night, literally, I've just been surviving on Hot Pockets. So my mom did not really prep much for us children when she left. Like, it would have been nice, you know, to have some frozen chicken. Like, actual chicken that I could cook on the grill. Some steak. I don't know. Stuff that I could have actually cooked because I don't feel like going out, buying fast food. Now I, now I have to eat, literally, Hot Pockets. And I'm going to let you guys know if this Hot Pocket is hot. Okay, here we go. Doesn't seem that hot. I'm just burning my hand, you know. Ooh! Yep, yep, yep. That, that is a, that's seriously a hot pocket. That is really hot. While my mouth is completely burning, especially my tongue, I'm gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos I post here on my channel. Gosh darn it, man. That hot pocket is literally burning my tongue. Woo! Um, wow, I might be live tonight on my second channel, uh, Jeff Saxon Games, I'll, I'll link that down below. It's gonna be a reaction channel, I was like, eh, I, I looked into trying to do reaction content, and I just didn't have the time, it's easier to stream, especially here on YouTube on another channel, so if you guys wanna be able to catch me live, hang out with me while I play Fortnite, maybe some of my friends or whatever, uh, or maybe some of you guys, Go check out the channel, drop a subscription. I'll probably also do gaming content on there uh, because, you know, 
I've been doing a lot of work to my PC to be able to do like streaming and stuff and hopefully my internet stays together tonight because that'll be a plus. But I did just get that toy soldier skin in Fortnite guys. Like I came up with this genius idea of like trying to like blend in with things. I had this like funny clip happen which I'm going to put over on my Twitter which you guys can follow me at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. And I'm like wow this make a great video idea and then Muselik who's friends with Laserbeam at actually thought of the same idea as me and it's kind of like wow I thought of that but I might still be filming that video idea as well because it's, it's just a genius idea and literally I was I was knocked down and I was hiding in a plant because I was knocked down and nobody literally saw me I don't know I'm gonna post that clip over on my Twitter thank you guys all so much for watching it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real I hope you had a fantastic day I hope you kept that smile on your face Saxon family remember you guys can do anything you put your mind to remember to stay positive until next time it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real I love you guys and well, peace.